In this video, we're going over hidden features of the LG K51. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today, we're going to walk you through a few cool hidden features on the LG K51. Also, in the comment section below, make sure you check out our favorite accessories for the K51. You're going to find some cool things to go with this phone in that link. Let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I want to show you, and this is one of my favorite features of this phone, and it's it's a general Android feature, but it works differently on every phone. And it's how to run two apps at one time, which is, uh, or also called split screen. So I'm going to have a YouTube video at the top, and I'm going to have a, my text messages at the bottom of the screen. Okay, first you're going to open up YouTube. So we're going to tap in our folder here, open YouTube. Hit no thanks. And then I'm going to find the video that I want to play and have it teed up and ready. So let's go here, go here, pause it. You don't necessarily have to like tee up the video, but it just, it's gonna help to speed up the process. So that's teed up, go home. And now I'm gonna go to the second app that I want to be at the bottom of the screen, which is my text messages. So I'm gonna open that, go home. Now, you will need to turn off gesture mode to do it the way I'm showing you in this video. If you haven't done that yet and you don't have your home buttons at the bottom, check out this video right here. It's gonna walk you through how to turn off the gesture mode so you can get these uh, particular home buttons, okay? So we're gonna tap on the uh, square button, which is the recent apps button. And I'm gonna go over to YouTube and I'm gonna hold down the YouTube icon if you hold down it, it's gonna bring up this menu. You're gonna tap on multi-view. That's gonna move YouTube to the top of the screen. And then I'm gonna select the app I want to be at the bottom, which is messages. And now I can hit play up here, let my YouTube video play, and let's switch off on this ad here. And while that's playing, I can then go in and I can send a text message to someone. I have full access to my phone, and I can be texting and having a full conversation while that video is playing. Um, what you can also do is I can hit the back button and I can actually select a different app. So not the back button, excuse me. You're gonna tap this button here. If you tap this, your video will keep playing and you can listen to it and I can pick a different app to be at the bottom of the screen. If I don't see one I like, I can go home and I can pick from here. I'm gonna pick my Google Chrome app. And now I can have Google Chrome running and be swiping through the internet while this video plays at the top of the screen. You can also take the phone and rotate it sideways and it will also support in this mode too. I can keep searching the web, looking at things while my video is playing and I listen to it. So that's how you use the split screen. Now what you're gonna do is there's a little white dash in the middle of the screen. Just put your finger on that and drag to the right and that will take you out of the split screen and back to full screen. From here, we can simply hit the home button and now we're back home. Now, another cool thing you may notice is my YouTube video is still playing. If you ever have a video that's playing on YouTube and you hit the home button, it will shrink the video down into what's called pop-up view and I can keep that video open while I do other things on the phone. So again, as long as the video is playing and I hit the home button, it will keep playing on the screen for me while I do other things. If you want to close it out all together, tap, and then you can hit the X in the corner and that will stop the video from playing altogether. So I just showed you two things there, how to use the split screen and how to use the pop-up play as well. You can also launch the pop-up play for YouTube if I have um, my video playing here, I can also tap on the recent apps button here and that'll automatically take you there too. So home button or that button will take you to the pop-up view. All right, for our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to launch your camera when your uh, screen is off. So maybe your screen is off and something happens and you wanna get a picture of it really quickly. 
All you need to do is just hit the volume down button two times. This will automatically turn your phone on and take you right to the camera. So you can just start snapping away, capture your important moments. Again, screen off, volume button twice, and that will take you right to the camera. All right, for our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to turn off the Google feed. So right now when you're on the home screen and you swipe to the right, it'll take you to a Google feed that'll have news. If you find this annoying and you'd like to turn this off, it's super easy. Just simply hold down the home screen, tap on home screen settings, and then for Google feed, just turn it off. And now when you swipe right, it won't do anything. You can go left, but not right. So that's how you turn off your Google feed. For our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to get more apps on your home screen. You go to that same section, hold down, but this time you're gonna to go to grid. And here you can change your grid to a five by six, which actually will give you an extra row at the bottom of the screen to add more apps. Now on the flip side, if you'd like to have less apps on your screen and the apps be slightly larger, you can move the other way. And this will actually uh, give you more spacing and I think it makes the apps slightly bigger as well. So there is that. All right, and for our very last hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to lock the home screen so that your apps don't move. Some of you guys may notice you might've put certain things on the main screen of your phone and sometimes when the phone is in your pocket or when you give it to someone to use, they move all your apps around, it's very frustrating. Well, there's a way to lock the screen so that your apps don't move. So hold down the home screen, go back to home screen settings, and then you're gonna go to lock home screen. Now your apps will be locked. So even if you hold down on them, it won't allow you to move them. Right here it says to allow you to lock or to move the apps. It tells you where to go to turn off that feature. This is great, especially for those of you that are setting up this phone for a loved one who is not as tech savvy and you wanna make sure it stays the way you set it up. This way, once the apps are locked and the widgets are locked, they can't move them unless they're trying to. They have to actually go in and turn off that feature in the settings. So, super helpful. Hope you guys found the whole video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, if you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know what hidden feature was your favorite, that'd be super helpful. And also, can you check out our link below for our favorite LG K51 accessories. In case you find anything cool you like, you can get through that link and it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and as always, have a good one.